So Fedora 26 was released yesterday, and I've never actually done a Fedora upgrade, so I thought it would be cool to do one. Now believe it or not, I've actually been using Fedora 25 for about a week now, and I haven't said anything about it or done a video about it because I just kind of wanted to test it out. I've always heard that Fedora has kind of a weird relationship with NVIDIA drivers, and I was pleasantly surprised that the NVIDIA drivers work right out the box. But the big question I hope to have answered in this video is whether or not my display drivers will break after I upgrade from Fedora 25 to 26. Now if you're running an older version of Fedora, sometimes you'll see a notification in the section saying that a new version of Fedora is out. I saw it earlier, but unfortunately it wasn't doing it when I was capturing this video. If you go to GNOME Software, there'll be this big banner saying Fedora 26 is now available. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now it looks like the new version of Fedora downloads inside of GNOME Software, which is super rad. At the very end it'll say it's ready to install, which is actually pretty nice because if you just want to download it and uninstall it, I guess you have that option. For whatever reason, I had some software that was incompatible with Fedora 26. Didn't seem like a big deal, so we'll just carry on. After authenticating, the next stop is to restart and apply the upgrade. Pretty straightforward and familiar process, I think. So in the bootloader, we can see a new entry for Fedora 26. What's interesting is the entries for Fedora 25 stay in there. Obviously, that doesn't mean that you can still boot back into Fedora 25, but you can still use the old kernels, I think. So the next screen is pretty boring. It's the install screen, and the install took about an hour, maybe even a little bit more for me. Now granted, I'm using a pretty slow hard drive for my Fedora test. At some point along the way, the installing updates text just went away and all I had was this gray background. If you hit escape, you can actually see what's going on in the background. It's not still not very sexy, but hey, it's something. At the very end of the update process, it'll restart. The first loading screen I saw was the little circle, not circle thing filling up with ice cream, I guess. You can actually hit escape here and see what all is being loaded in the background. It looks like my VMware service failed to start, but that's probably because the kernel updated and I haven't recompiled the stuff required for VMware. There's some other jobs trying to start too, so let's just skip ahead. And we've made it to the login screen, so let's log in. Now logging in took a really long time for some reason. I'm pretty sure a big part of it is my super slow hard drive, but I think that the NVIDIA driver doesn't play nicely with Wayland, so GNOME has to figure out how to facilitate things, and... But it looks like it worked! We get a notification at the top saying updates have been installed, we can view the updates. So I was able to update from Fedora 25 to Fedora 26, keep my NVIDIA drivers intact and working, didn't have any freezes, any crashes, no nothing. So this has been a great experience, and there is a very likely chance that I'm going to hop over to Fedora land and stick with it for a month, maybe two, maybe six, maybe 12, who knows? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.